All right, so good afternoon. Welcome to this week's video. We're going to talk about, uh, well, first of all, it's a little cloudy, so it's a little dark. It's been raining on and off. We're going to talk about what we got done last week and maybe what we're trying to do this week. So let's, let's go over it real quick. It's going to be a short video. Well, let me start over here. See, over in this bedroom right here, we started moving a bunch of materials to fill this area up to, to level. You can see that we have moved a lot of rocks in there, and we still have a lot more to do in there. But as far as the belting goes, we have uh, belted up the whole front of the house, all the way on the right side is belted, all the way around the front all the bedrooms, all the door lintels over these doors and the belt over these doors. This has all been done and belted. We are going down the outside right wall right there. You see we, we stopped right there because we want to pour this cross beam. We need to pour this cross beam going all the way out past the black drum across the veranda out there. I want to pour that as one piece across this whole area and to there. So we started boxing this up. Um, we're going to continue boxing this up this week and we're going to pour it. But you notice also that we have done all the steel in this area. Well, not all of it. Um, we have done the steel down the right wall, all the way down the right wall there to the end. We have done um, steel, a lot of steel in this middle area. You can see that all these these stiffeners here have steel. They are all steeled up all the way across there, steel there, steeled up across here, steeled up down there, steeling up across the second row right now. So we only have <coughs> basically that last row to steel up down here, these columns, and a half of the second row. The whole first row of these stiffeners and uh, have been have been steeled up. We also boxed up this column, this column, and this column is boxed. We're going to put the the boards under these here. The next time we work here, under here, under here, and we got to put all the sides on, and we're going to pour that. Another thing I want to point out that we did was we these columns. These three columns that you're looking at in the picture right now. We added eight feet to them, to each one of them. This first one right here, you notice the concrete, you can see it's a little, still looks a little different than the other concrete. Uh, so that one, that one, and that one. If you look at the previous videos, you will see that they were a lot shorter. In fact, you see the mark there, there, and there. So we've poured all of this, all of this, down to there, and all of that to there. Uh, we did that to bring these columns up to level so we can start uh, making the steel come across here. So I had to do that. So you see, we're, we're stealing up the second row of columns right now, and then we have one more row of columns left, and we have the two back walls to steal up. That's all the steel we need to do for the belting. And after that, we're going to have to start doing steel for the decking. But basically, um, that's what we got done this week. Next week, um, <clears throat> if I work on this, I'll be, I'll be finishing up this first beam across here um, and pouring that. Okay? And that's where we're at. And as soon as we do that, we move down the wall out here. We move down the wall out there to the next set of beams and we'll do it across we'll do it all the way across here to this side and we'll continue down the inside wall here as well so as we do these beams across here we're doing the wall that that's associated with it so it ties into that and it's poured at the same time also the cement will run down the block pockets <coughs> and tie these columns into that wall all the way down in some of these. Some of the, some of the whole block pocket holes already filled and some are not. 
so this, that, that belting um, going across here will tie that wall into these columns and that's what we want so that those walls don't fall down uh, if you have hurricane or tornadoes or earthquakes stuff like that um, <clears throat> And my understanding is that one reason we use so much steel out here in Jamaica when we build these houses is because um, because we live in an earthquake prone area and so these houses uh, we don't want them falling down once we get shakes but anyway that is this week's video again the whole front has been belted up all the way around in fact let me just get you a quick view inside here see all the way around here all right uh, again thanks for watching the videos and uh, watching me get my crazy Jamaica house building uh, project and uh, hopefully you stick around and see what it looks like when we're done but there you go uh, a lot of steel was done I don't know if you can really see that a lot of steel work. Um, there you go. Alright, stay tuned and thanks again. This is this week's video.